Hi, good morning. Uh, I think that they only can, can hear me only. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? So we are we are testing the audio and video, and you can see the video and audio. Uh, please uh, put your comments in the question section. Okay, welcome everyone. So let me introduce introduce you to Francisco Lopez. He, he's the regional sales manager. He will help us to to present the Simon Technologies about the the fiber cable, etc. So Francisco, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, I hope that everybody can hear well and are able to see. Uh, Presentation at the moment. Uh, oh. Let's let's uh, let's begin quickly. We're going to try to be as uh, objective as possible, short, and so you everybody can have a an, a quick idea of who is Simon, what we do, and what are our strengths on the line of them. Okay. Thank thank you, Francisco. So thank you everyone for your time. We have really, really appreciate your time in, uh, to take this webinar. We want to introduce you the, the brand and the technology that Simon has, uh, a very uh, great technology uh, worldwide recognized. So Francisco Lopez uh, is your the presentation. Thank you everyone for your time. Okay, thank you. Tim. Okay, let's make uh, some quick history of uh, who we are. Uh, Simon is a company founded originally by Mr. Carl Simon. He was a chemistry, a chemist, and back in 1903. How they began? Back on those days when solid copper was the proper way to communicate, uh, you used to have some uh, ceramic connector with three butterfly screws. Uh, what happened? Those connectors were, were made out of ceramic. So Carl Simon came with the idea to make a plastic compound to substitute those ceramics because those ceramics uh, often, when the technical guy was making the connection, if he drops it, the ceramic breaks. So and it was expensive at that time. So Simon developed this plastic compound and developed this type of connector for solid copper cable. And that's how Simon began back in 1903, about 116 years ago, making a connection for the uh, communication business. This has been a family owned company that right now is going through its fifth generation. And we expect that Jan January next year, the sixth generation is going to take over. They're working on the, the transition at the moment, and 
and the C generation is going to take over. Why we focus on that? Because normally you know that you see a lot of company, you see it there, you see promoting products, and after a few years, you see that that company was acquired by somebody, was merged, and sometimes they disappear too. What we want to show you with this is the uh, you can trust on a 50, maybe six generation company and a 115 year old company. I give you the security that we're gonna be there whenever you need. It. It's a completely flat organization, so you can have an idea. I'm an regional sales manager, uh, and I have direct contract with this, our CEO. We don't have this uh, whole bureaucracy. It's a, we try to be as flat as possible, so any concern, any need can be addressed as quick as possible. Normally, when you have huge organization with a huge pyramid, you don't have the speed on the answers or the solution that you need at the moment. That's why we, we try to be as flat as possible. We at the moment have presence in, uh, in around 40 countries with offices uh, and staff, and around 60% of our entire sales are made out of the United States, mainly North America. Um, as I told before, we have a stocking distributor. Right now we have uh, an alliance with uh, Epcom. Uh, we have a bonded warehouse in Miami, where we have duty-free merchandise to be able to be shipped as quick as possible to any of the countries, countries that are I mean, in this, besides that, we have a certified installer, we have partnership with global system integrators to, to provide service, the services to Fortune 500 companies at the moment. Right now, uh, part of the training is to give you a brief uh, update of who we are, what we do, and have the feedback from you on, on what do you think will be the next step to get most of you present today to be part of a certified installer program that have a world recognition program that uh, give you big C points um, and give you recognition worldwide that you can work as a Simon certified installer anywhere in the world at the moment with that certification. In the and we have a, a, a logistic and manufacturing. Uh, globally, at the moment, we have a manufacturing facility in Watertown, Connecticut. We have a manufacturing facility in Mexico. We have one in Czech Republic and another one in, in China. And we, out of those four facilities, we make all the logistics to be able to deliver property manner and, and, and quickly, quickly all over the world. And at the moment, uh, to be able to serve the Caribbean, and we are counting with Edcom with a huge logistic they have out of Miami at the moment. This is uh, our presence, as you can see worldwide. Uh, as you can see the star uh, in Watertown, Connecticut, and, and the rest of the world. Where you see the blue dots is normally where we have uh, all our manufacturing facilities. We have one in Sao Paulo that I didn't mention because that one only manufactured for Brazil because it's a special structure in Brazil because of the duties and different stuff. That's so I don't speak about that because I cannot take product normally, no, out of Brazil. Normally the product that we sell in the Caribbean and we promote came out of Watertown, Connecticut, U.S., and Mexico. That in Mexico, uh, what we do is we don't produce. We only do part of the assemble of the products. And as I said before, we have uh, uh, a global network of certified installers. That's something that we want to promote all over the Caribbean. Uh, we are certified as an ISO 9000 2015 just recently, uh, we get recertified uh, 
we have a solution that we call GPS, it's Global Project Services, that normally those Fortune 500 companies, we provide, let's say, services to them. So anywhere in the world, for example, in the Caribbean, I can put you an example, uh, United Airlines need some small deployments in Trinidad and Tobago. They call us, we contact in Trinidad a few of the installers that used to work with us, and we quote, and we use you to be able to provide the services to United. Uh, but you, as an installer, are going to be invoicing to CIMO, not to United. Uh, it's because those uh, Fortune 500 companies are looking for one point of contact. Not that any time they have a need in any country, they have to look for somebody local. You know. They call Simon, and Simon take care uh, take care of everything. And that that those installers in our radar are the one that we contact to be able to provide services to those Fortune 500 companies. As we said, we have a world-class quality. We are certified in uh, ISO 9001, ISO 14001, complying with all the environmental standards. Uh, all the manufacturing, all the machines that produce our product were made by us, by us too. Uh, we comply with the Six Sigma technology for our process and control. And also, all our plastic that you see over there are plenum rated. All our plastic. Not only the cable. Uh, we have, okay, we have a plenum riser, uh, CM, and low small zero halogen. We have implemented the the plenum policy on all our plastic. Our jacks, our plate plate, plate plates, everything is plenum rated. And here on the right, you can see how normally uh, we produce because we do everything. We do the plastic, we do the steel. Uh, uh, we have the capability, and I think we are the only one manufacturer of connectivity in the world that produce everything that's, that we sell. We don't, we don't subcontract, we produce everything that we sell, and also we do a lot of uh, uh, private label products too. This is the, so you can have an idea of how committed we are with the environmental. Uh, this is what we have at the moment. Our plan in New York, well, in Connecticut, is uh, 200 and and 17 kilowatts of solar power system. We have our campus in Port of Town, We have also a natural reserve in, as you can see over there. And because all of this, as you can see in that slide, uh, if you use product, uh, Simon products, you can apply for lead point. So your customer, can apply uh, to be a green building that is being uh, promoted right now. Follow me. Uh, excuse me. One Uh, Francisco, uh, we can hear you. We lost the audio. Hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. Again, thank you. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna. I was going to do the the introduction. I'm gonna pass uh, the presentation to uh, Mr. Nelson Farfan, and he's gonna took over from here with more focus on the, I think you are more over about it, that is the, the technical portion of this, to see the products and what we do. Give me one second, I'm passing to Nelson for time.
Uh, one second, please. And Neso Farfan is coming, so we are waiting for uh, for his presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Uh, one second, please. Um, Nelson Fafanis has a little trouble uh, to, to get a connection to this webinar. Uh, we are fixing up. One second, please.
we really uh, we really sorry about this inconvenience so we try to connect to Nelson Farfan to continue uh, with this presentation and we are very apologize for this uh, problem but we are trying to to fix it uh, as soon as possible uh, thank you so much for your patience so we we are trying to to connect to to France to Nelson Farfan soon thank you Hello, sorry, gentlemen, it has been pretty difficult to, to Mr. Farfan. I don't know why he's having issues at the moment to connect. So uh, he's going to confirm me as soon as he can. So uh, let's go even between us. Uh, uh, Simon, as a uh, continuum, Simon, um, out of the, all the technologies and solutions that you can see uh, right now in the market, um, any connector? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, Francis, but we can we can see that the video, the screen, and uh, maybe it has a. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. As as you can see in the first picture here, uh, because Simon invests a lot of money on research and development, we have around over 400 patents that any type of connection that you see right now in the market, most of those solutions and the engineer involved in that solution, connector, jacks, uh, patch core, uh, type of cabinets, uh, uh, S110, everything, most of those technology were invented by Simon, were patented by Simon. What happened is that when you launch a patent, you can keep it for a certain amount of time but then you have to release it and everybody can use it. Uh, that gives Simon the leadership on patents on the communication segment, on the patent side of the segment. And we have uh, key roles on organizations like the EIA, EIA, ISO, EEEE, Internet Alliance, with all over the organization that dictate the standards and the norms. Uh, control the communication, the passive communication of the world. We have a whole team of uh, ESG. That's what Mr. Nelson that was trying to, call, to connect is. He's our TSG director for Latin America. The problem is that being a TSG for Latin America, you can imagine he's been traveling all over Latin America and all over the year. And right now he's at, a, at an airport. And it's uh, been pretty difficult for him to 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 connect. Uh, we have a full line of extremely uh, highly different solutions. Uh, I'm gonna share with you all of these so you can see at each one of those videos how our tools are, are used. Uh, as you are all aware, to be able to terminate a jack, uh, 
most of the manufacturers of the world, you have to use a, a punch tool. Uh, with our solution, we focus more on on a, on a push, on a pressure, on, 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 a, on a different termination system that allows you to be consistent from the first connector you made to the last one. Because if you use a punch, maybe the first one, the second one, the third one, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna be 100% fine. But after if you're gonna make 50, 100, maybe 200, maybe the few, you're gonna see some uh, some difference uh, from the first one between the last one. So we're trying to do this with uh, uh, pressure connectors that give you that the first connector plus the last one is gonna be 100% sure with the highest confidence and confidentiality possible. So you don't have any any connector that at the end maybe you're gonna be able to rectify. Also, you can see here a LC connector on the right that if you see, we remove on the top the small click to be able to pull it out. Uh, we call it a system, a blade patch system that you only see when you see the two fingers or the person, by the way, you pull there and the system automatically came down down and you're going to be able to take out the connection. This makes the perfect solution for high density areas. This is our complete, uh, we have a, a strong complete wheelhouse solution that we call Flystack. And um, again, let's see. Let's see this is uh, Bueno, fuera pago, es eh, imprimir, fuera pago 20 mil pesos, ¿vale? Cantarían, si quiero 200 pesos, ¿no? Dice, fuera pago 20 mil, el dinero 200, dice, dice. Francisco, we can hear you, uh, we lost you for, for a while, can you check please? Give me, let me see, I don't know what's going on, what's going on. Me one. Can you see right now? Yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, I had the audio again. Thank you. Can you see right now? Yeah, we can see it. And we don't have the audio for the video, Francisco. No. No, only I well, only we can see the video, but we we don't have audio. Oh my God! I don't know. I'm 
and trying to put the others for his reason. Sorry, gentlemen, I didn't know that you were having no audio. Okay, sorry, I, I, I didn't know that you were yeah. not hearing yeah. well, but uh, let's do something now, okay. what I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you this, so you can share with everybody, because it's it's pretty good if, if you were able to see the video because you are, you're going to see the main uh, differentiator. For example, you see, sorry that you were able to hear, at the end, or mostly at the end, part of the end, you see that we provide, for example, uh, data center services. Uh, but we don't do it directly. Normally, if you have a customer that have a, a need for a specific data center, we jump in by the hand with any uh, 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 integrator that we have at the end on any country. And we do the service. Um, what we do is we provide the, the services at CMO, but the front is going to be your company. But you, the customer is going to be 100% uh, sure that uh, you have the the right partner to be able to provide 100% uh, service that is going to be complied with all the standards all over the world. So uh, we do a whole uh, companionship with you in front of the customer. We never go direct to the customer. Everything is done through the hands and through the, 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 the due diligence of each one of you at each one of the customers. This is our uh, line of uh, uh, connectors. Uh, and as you can see here at the bottom, we develop this uh, uh, blade patch connector that you can change the polarity of the connector without uh, replacing. You only pull it back, you twist it a little bit, as you can see here in the front, pull it back in. And the polarity yeah, of the fiber is right away changed. That, that's the only thing you need to do. And not only that, our connector, pre-polished connector, have the capability to be able to be retaminated uh, up to three times. So in the first time that you put a connector, this is mechanical one, you put a connector, doesn't have the right amount of light that you need, maybe the connector, and you see that the connector is clean, Maybe it's the termination that it's not good, and our connector gives you the capability to be able to be determined up to three times. Uh, uh, this is Franc yeah. Francisco. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, we hear some noise uh, in the in your background. Maybe uh, you can check as well. We can hear some voices. Yeah, it's, it's because I hope it's quiet here, not to another to another door. Okay. 
able to see it, Osvaldo? Yes, we can see the screen. Okay, okay, so okay, this is our entire line of a uh, Cooper system. We have uh, uh, all the categories from from category 5B all the way up to 8.2. But as you are aware, the category 8 and above was only developed to be able to be used uh, inside a data center because the limitation of the 30 meters. Uh, category 8. Uh, Point one, point two are only uh, to be used in 30 meters because of the, the speed that are going to be uh, needed. That is uh, 2,000 megahertz. But right now, you know that like category six for the 5B is 100, uh, category six is 200, 6A 450, uh, 7, 1,000, and 8.1, 8.2, we're talking about 2,000 megahertz. So they limited the category to only 30 meters. So it was only uh, dedicated to be used inside a data center. Uh, as you can see here, the QSFP uh, and SFP uh, cables used for stacking or the bellum. Uh, we used to produce those cables for a lot of uh, uh, active equipment manufacturers and about a couple of years ago uh, we were able and authorized to sell our solutions for all the big active equipment manufacturers in the world under Simon brand and you can have access to all this type of cable to between uh, 30 ton time 40 percent less on the price you get from an active equipment uh, manufacturer because normally they focus on active equipment and this type of cable, they subcontract apart. Somebody do private label for them. And we are one of those companies that do a lot. So if you have any need of, of this for stacking or any other type of connection of SFP, QSFP, SFP Plus, QSFP Plus products, you're gonna be able to get it for us. And Right now, we, you can see part of the video. What we have, for example, that is a target. What you see the picture in the middle is the, what we call the zero U. Our cabinets have the capability to be able to put on each side of the cabinets. And when you put two, two cabinets together, in the middle of the cabinets, you have 1.5 and sometimes three U's to you of usage. So you can push patch panel on that space and be able to connect quicker uh, to both sides of the cabinet, making a lot of efficient on, 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 on your cabling. And you don't have to pay, for example, put a patch panel maybe in the top or maybe in the middle, or maybe at the bottom, and then begin to throw connectors using cable manager through the side if you put a patch panel in the middle, you're going to be able to connect quicker and on a more and more efficient way. Uh, but it's going to be reflect on consume of AC, consume of energy, and the uh, KB that each of one of the cabinets are going to, are going to have. Uh, we have another solution uh, that if you have any need of a few cabinets, it could be one. Uh, we can send the cabinet down already pre-assembled with all the connection already in. Everything installed, fiber, everything installed. So as soon as the cabinet arrives to your country, you only have to put, if, is it going to be used for that, the active equipment and connect it. That's it. That's what we call BV. It's pre-configured cabinets. And what we do is we initiate a, a a review with you and put together what we're going to be needing at each one of the cabinets. We set it up, we set up one part number, and you send it, this is what I needed, and I send you down the whole cabinet with the entire configuration required by you or by your customers. That's an excellent initiative because in some countries, if you import a cabinet alone, uh, they call it a cabinet, and you pay for that on. on, on on, on the agency, on customers, and in some country, countries, if you bring the cabinet already pre-assembled, 
is considered communication equipment and the duties are different. So sometimes it's a lot less if it's a communication equipment or if it is a, a cabinet by itself. So in some countries, they, they love this because of mainly because of it's going to be quicker for them to be deployed. And you know that labor is a big portion of what you all do. And also the duties are going to be a lot deeper. We also have a complete line of uh, PDUs from meter, smart, and, and we have the software, we have uh, switches, we have manage, we have, uh, and also the basic ones. Uh, we also have, uh, we are pretty successful with this, is that you, everybody's now speaking about IoT industry 4.0, that when you hear industry 4.0, Normally, a lot of people don't understand what that means. An industry 4.0, what the industry is looking for, if you are able to get certified as an industry 4.0, is that the entire process, since the moment that you receive the order, or you place the order, to the moment that you receive the product at the end, everything is automated. And that's what we are trying to also get our portion of that automated system. And we have a whole uh, smart patch panels with a, um, with a master control panel. And Eagle Eye is the software that we use to control that entire network. What this does is you put the entire smart structure in your cabinet, and you're going to be able to see the whole net the entire net and what the net is doing, who is connected, what is going on. And if, for example, you have an entire net with Eagle Eye and somebody out of the organization connect to the net, to the Wi-Fi or, or let's say to, the, to one of the jacks and the MAC address of the equipment is not registered as a MAC address authorized inside the company, the system right away make an alert to the manager, to the person responsible saying, in a specific area of the company and because the software are able to uh, manage and handle uh, AutoCAD blueprints, you, the system, can tell you right away where is that person located. So you can send somebody or see if it's a person authorized that maybe bring an equipment that was not quickly registered, so you can, okay, it can that's registered, or this is somebody that is not authorized to be connected to them. So this is, uh, this is being moving pretty fast, and this is something being, getting the attention of all the customers right now around the world, because of the demand of the IoT. And this is the IoT portion of the passive portion of the connectivity. This data center design services is that, for example, if you have a customer that is right now at the moment requesting uh, or is going to be involved in a data center project, uh, you can contact us and we can offer the entire design of the data center 100% uh, free uh, to, to, the, to your end user, to the customer. Uh, what we only request for them is uh, a possibility when they launch the wood blueprints, if they require to be a bit mandatory because it's a government project or some other company, we request for them the only, what we, the only thing that we request to be able to provide the whole design of the data center is for them to put the name of Simon inside the, the, the bid. You can put Simon or similar, something like that, or you can name a few but we want to be part of that uh, documentation when the product is launched. We have done a lot of this, and as you can see here, this is all what we cover during the design. We also send, as part of the design, the whole, uh, uh, he says here, the whole thermal analysis uh, on real time. And, 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 and uh, excuse me, what?
sorry, yes, uh, yes and, and so please uh, don't hesitate to be able to apply to this because I see a lot of big, big companies offering design services and I think that is in front of the end user. You show them that you have on your back a company like us. We have over, uh, over 40 engineers only focused on design, certified by different standard organizations all over the world. Uh, your customer can be 100% sure that it's going to be one of the best design focus on the need or the main reason for that specific data center. It is going to be only enterprise or focus for a company or it's going to be a cloud service provider. So this is a, an excellent tool. We don't charge, I, as I said, but you as an integrator can, I don't know, offer this type of service as part of the services you're going to be offering today. And, and as you said, as, uh, this is another of our uh, focus right now, that is Converge IT. As you remember, in the past, you have a different type of cabling for each one of the services that you have uh, on a specific building. You have one for fire, one for voice and data, one for, 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 the, maybe for the cameras, one for for the access point, uh, excuse me, for the uh, building access, for the security of the building. Right now, what well, the standard is demanding that with one cable, one type of cable and one system, you have to be able to manage everything, including lighting, uh, TVs, projector, access point, everything. <clears throat> That's why the standard right now uh, is requesting that you don't consume on any type of equipment more than 90 watts. That's why you see a lot of PoE that in the past used to be PoE plus, PoE plus plus, and then when the, for example, PoE plus was 15 watts, PoE plus plus was 30 watts, then when the 60 watt came out, they don't want to put more plus, 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 so they changed it to PoE type one, type two, type three, that is 60, and type four, that is 91. And what is going on? That normally, when you came with AC power, normally the equipment that you're gonna be uh, giving power through that AC, normally consume, I don't know, 18 watts, 24 watts, 12 watts, and you have to put a transformer to convert from AC, X amount of uh, watt to DC 1224, and that's a uh, consumer of energy. And what we are, uh, what the industry is looking for is to come directly from your switch, directly to the equipment. It doesn't matter if it's a lamp or a lightning feature, or if it's a TV, or if it's a projector, or if it's a computer, or if it's an access point. It doesn't matter. Uh, that is going to be saving to the industry around 25 up to 35 percent on energy right away and that's that's uh, that's the main reason you see a lot of companies speaking about converge it because that's the future and that's where everything is going at the moment and because of what i said before we just launched our c plug connector this is a, a field terminated plug that uh, is uh, recertifiable. You can use your any type of recertified machine, and this is uh, able to be certi recertified in campus, on campus, and in the field, and it's approved by the standards. So you can came, for example, directly from your switch, directly to the device. It doesn't, you, right now, you're going to be able to be needing a jack, a faceplate, and then a password to connect the camera, to connect the access point. No, no, you can that from the switch directly to the camera or to the access point or to whatever equipment you're going to be putting all over the, the facility. Um, and the cost versus what was used before is a lot less. So you're going to be also saving some money with this type of connector. As I said before, you can see here, 
with one cable, you will not to be able to provide all type of services. Lightning, fire, uh, speaker phones, phone, temperature, uh, audio and video, computers, uh, projectors, anything, anything. Because everything right now is being focused and developed by all manufacturers in the world uh, on the on the be able to manage. It doesn't matter the system that is it, everybody has an a VCIM. Normally, right now, every manufacturer and the others are, are providing the BMS is a system to be able to consolidate everything under one platform. This year, I want to put it on the presentation because, as I said pretty at the beginning about the patent, this is a patent from Simon. Simon developed the type of connector that instead of being a point-to-point -point connector, that is the first picture that you see, and like most of the manufacturer produce it, if you see that is the corner from the RJ45 to the corner of the jack. Of the copper piece of copper of the jack. That's how they connect. And the electric arc is big. What Simon does, Simon brings the piece of copper all the way down so the connector, the RJ45, get on top of the copper portion. And because of it's on top, that's why Simon received the recognition uh, on Big C the best BOE solution in the world at the moment. And they give us the name, the king of POE, because it's the best POE solution right now in the world. Now, uh, Simon is the only manufacturer that has it, because it's a patent. I think we have, I think, I think two more years before we're going to have to release it. So everybody is going to have it, because everybody's looking to have this type of connector. Because for the POE demand that is increasing, year by year and it's going to be at the end the entire solution of any deployment you make this is the right connection and right now we can take a lot of advantage with this because if you specify a project and you request the crown type connector simon is the only one that have that type of connection nobody else have that type of connection You can see here all the, the the performance of each one of the cable based on type of uh, category. Uh, uh, one is the uh, UTP. Uh, those are the standards. The what the standard requires: the red and the blue and the dark blue. Uh, it gives you the capability to have a. An, an, uh, Let's say that's the range that the standards allow you to operate. And what you see in light blue and let's say yellow orange is what Simon uh, right now is uh, the performance of our cable. You see, we are a lot lower than what the standards demand or require. And not only that, uh, as you can see here, uh, as I said earlier, that we put plenum ready plastic on our on all our connections. We also decide to put a high temperature jacket in all our cables. We don't have the, the high temperature one and the non no, no, no. all our cables are uh, high temperature cables that you can see here, here on the left. That's another competitive advantage when you are doing deployments. It doesn't matter if it's an office. Of it, if it's on an, uh, on an industry, it doesn't matter what the temperature of operation is going to be. And then came, became the different type of foil and, and, and or or prey you're going to have all over the cable. That type of foil, the type of application that you're going to be use using the cable, that's what is going to be defining the the, the 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 type of cable. We also have an entire line of rugged solution more in our countries in the Caribbean islands close to the sea the salinity everything this is a, a very very high demand product 
one of those products can handle also uh, to be submerged on the water, uh, not too deep, a few feet, that's it. Uh, but this is a NEMA compliant product. We have the entire line on fiber and on copper on both sides. This is uh, some of the deployments. Uh, we have room on a bakery, on a chemistry lab, in a stadium. We have done some uh, oil rigs in, in, in Trinidad with Exxon. Um, what you see here, Cisco Digital Business Solution, is because uh, around, I think, a couple of years ago, uh, Cisco, Philips, and Simon joined together to develop the, one of the best solutions to POE, like where Cisco were providing the switches, small and special switches. Some those type of switches you're able to put it on a, a rooftop mount, and you can put that small switch there. And from that small switch centralized, you can turn up a specific amount of lightning futures uh, that the company providing the portion of the lightning futures was uh, Philips. This is uh, all the support we gave for in the GM building. We have also another uh, certification that's a digital lightning partner that if you get certified with us as a digital lightning partner, any moment you have an opportunity of digital lightning, uh, you can take us, register your project, and we take care of everything, including the other manufacturers that of the products that we don't provide. The switches, the lightning, we put you in contact with we contact with everybody and we do the entire design. That's part of what we offer if you became a digital lightning partner with us. This is some of the company that we have uh, uh, some level of energy. Some of them, we have a lot more. And right now in the building. This is uh, one part of the recognition that, 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 that we can receive, as you can see, uh, by the CIO review, the magazine. Cisco Magazine, we get, uh, we are in the top three uh, providers of, C of Cisco at the moment. And not only that, out of top 10 providers, uh, for them, they consider us, uh, out of those top 10, we are the only cable manufacturer that appear in that top 10, top 10 list. This is some of the world leading organization that specifies Simon from zero. Uh, and normally, other big, big companies that normally contact us anytime they have a need. Um, because we don't sell direct and neither do deployments, depending where the region or the country where any of those big companies require any type of services, we go through the channels that we have at each one of the locations. So we provide also uh, leads. We don't only expect to receive it from you, we also provide leads to our allies of any need that we receive for any of those uh, big companies. Because you see that sometimes people, when you speak about any brand, people get into the web, look for any type of contact and try to contact direct the company. And Normally, we request any info of how you get the info from us, and then we continue from there, contact you, and continue to work hand by hand. Now, this is one of our, let's say, our last slide. Uh, why Simon, as you can see, are each one of all those four square stability and agility, global capability, value added services, training and education, the GPS services, the data center, the video, and a lot more. And technology leaders is because normally any solution that is you see right now, for example, uh, we develop the 
FUTP solution back in 1998. And it was finally approved and considered the best solution out of the market almost 10 years after. But Simon was the one that came with the idea. So uh, that's why we consider we are the technology leader because we keep bringing patents and and solutions and engineer uh, from now, and we expect to bring a lot more in the near future. So that's more or less what I want to this for you all to be able to see. I, uh, as 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 was saying, we have a strategic alliance with Epcom. We have a bonder warehouse in Miami, and we're gonna try to do some join BC to each one of the countries all over the Caribbean so I can have a face-to-face -face contact and you can have a direct relationship with me uh, to be able to to give you the proper support and the proper guidance all over the needs that you have at the moment. Thank you all. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to share with you this presentation so you can go through slower and, and because I know sometimes the language could be a barrier uh, because the expressions maybe is not the right one, but uh, we were trying to do our best and I expect that you can go through and go through the video so you can have a better understanding of everything. And I expect that uh, Osvaldo, you can share with them all my contact details so they can contact uh, uh, us directly and in any need and let's see how quickly we can make like a, a road map visit to try to get in contact directly face to face because I love to and I like to see the person and the people I'm speaking with and working with not only by a phone or by email. I, I consider uh, a big portion of the business for the business to be able to see my customer face to face. I have a, a business relationship that is not only based on part of an email or, or, or a phone call. Thank you all. And, and, and I'm all at your service, uh, Osvaldo. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for your time, for your patience about these little issues we have in a communication yes. internet. So we will share this presentation to you and please contact your sales rep in Netcom. We have all the products in the stock and ready to sh to, to ship in, in, in our warehouse in Miami. So don't hesitate to contact us. We can help you to design, to, to make the the build some material for your project and we will share this presentation and also we will share with you a Francisco Lopez contact uh, details to to work together and to increase your business in, in Caribbean and any 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 region uh, you are uh, with Simon products a uh, professional professional uh, infrastructure okay thank you so much and please uh, send send us your questions and we will share you this this information soon and thank you again one question that I want uh, maybe for them as soon as I receive the, the presentation on everything uh maybe if they can give us the feedback of if they will be or how strongly interested they will be on a, a certification out of uh, in miami we are planning to do one in miami english speaking with our staff from from connecticut uh please let us know we're trying to put together a, a group of integrator uh those type of certification costs some money. What we are planning to do is to give it for free. So you can be to any person living in the Caribbean, it's gonna be free. So you can be joining us for, for, for that. So let us know uh, if you are interested and how many people out of the organization will be interested in that. So we can begin all the arrangements to do that as soon as we can. Well, th thank you, thank you, Francisco. Of course, uh, we're planning to to have a certification in Miami, 
And so we keep in touch all together uh, with the customers in Caribbean and Central America and South America. Thank you so much. Um, please don't hesitate to contact us. Any project, any question you have, we are here, we are here to help. Uh, something else, Francisco, you want to add today? No, so thank you all. And in the name of, of Simon, please uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Okay, thank you everyone. So okay. we finished the, this season today and we will we will send you more information uh, for the next season. Thank you for your time and your patience. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.